didn't like the sticking of the line and end of the channel and also no. Act's interesting, it, Duke sticks at the line, flips it out to the right. Of course, you're playing that extreme outside line. It is precarious to say the least. But Duke had an incident last yesterday, Chris, where he needed a mark mm -hmm. to win a game, stuck at a foul line, went over the foul line, and fouled and lost the game by one pin to Steve Wilson. And I think he's been conscious of that foul line for the last day and a half. It's affected his timing and confidence. Good, glad he came back. Third frame. So he'll mark with a spare in that third. Missing with the first shot. So he moves to the left lane. Wonderful Walt guy. Walter in the interview says this lane's hooking six to seven boards more. Mm. All right, strike for Norm, first one in the fourth frame. For an Harrisburg, where we'll return. Okay, Bo. Thank you, Chris. The man who qualified second, Tommy Baker. Tommy, you usually work with us at ABC out in the truck. Do um, you have any message for your fellow buddies out there doing a the telecast? Well, at the beginning of the week, I told him I didn't want to work this week. <laughs> I just wanted one message for Bob, John, uh, and Brian out there. Um, I really don't miss you guys, and uh, it's really been a quiet day because uh, I don't have to listen to Bobby all day long. <laughs> and good luck to you, Bakes. We'll be watching the next match. Back to you, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Another powerhouse strike coming in a good frame for Gene McCune. So this match uh, uh, well in hand for McCune at this point as we look at Duke, the whole approach. Fiddling around, just trying to figure out what will work on this championship pair. Leaving the two sleeper eight. Tough spare, and as our producer Carol Letty noted, that Duke has been fiddling around changing bowling balls. But when that doesn't work, you have to change the game of attack. He needs, he's got a shot, he can crank it up, he can move outside and throw harder. He must make a gamble and change something besides his ball. Now, Chris, basically, Duke can do it all. There's no doubt. He can throw mm -hmm. the big hook, and he can throw the hard rocket shot that McCune is kind of playing, and it seems to work well because it doesn't hook too early on the left-hand lane where everybody has seemed to struggle. McCune hit that lane, and Duke can feather it down on the right-hand lane. He's going to have to draw on all his match game skills to get back into this contest. The 1993 Masters champion, 1994 Tournament of Champions winner. <laughs> been listening to us. If you could see the difference in the speed of the approach, that's where you get our your power. He, he speeded his, he sped up his approach. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Much quicker. Gets a real strong pivot. I see the big snapping hook from deep inside. That's the type of shot that may work for Duke. You might as well try something. see the money leaders 1997 Parker Bone at the top Weber second Walter Ray third and Norm Duke with 80,320 all right right here a little deceleration you try to aim the ball and this is what happens. The ball hooks too quickly. As we saw in our graph, there's 35 feet of oil this week. You've got to keep the speed up. Dean has earned 29,255 this year. Well, Gene falls in the category, I think, Chris, of Doug Kent. And I've said Doug Kent is probably one of the great untapped talents out here mm -hmm. who could be a superstar. Gene could do the same thing. He has all the shots. He has the experience. He just needs the, the maturation to make himself a top player. As you see him putting a piece of black tape in the back of the thumb hole. Players will put, say, white tape, which has a little bit more adhesiveness to it. If you're dropping the ball a lot, if you just want to tighten it up and get out of it smooth, use the black tape. It's a little smoother. Let's see how it works. He leads by 31 pins, seventh frame. Norm 
Duke. Okay, now Norm Duke. That's the man that Walter Ray defeated in our return of the King of the Hill, 213 to 204. <laughs> More like it, Norm Duke. Run away through the six for the strikeout. The Kuhn, 139 through the six for the strikeout. Duke reaches into his bag of tricks. He threw a cranker shot on the left hand lane. He's changed to a ball that's about three years old that he used earlier in the week. I had the luxury of uh, bowling on the same squad with him this week. He was an early leader. This is a little bit older type reactive resin ball. Let's see if it works on both lanes. <laughs> Seven pen on the left lane. Speaking of balls, um, Pete Weber, let's say, used quite a few balls, and then one game decided to use an old scratchy up one and bowl to 300 here. <laughs> well, the lane, Chris, the lanes were very dry, and players were looking for ways to control the ball, and so that's the reason that happened. Okay. <laughs> Just to clarify our rule very quickly, if players can carry as many balls as they want on the tour, but they're only allowed eight bowling balls in the building. And uh, normally, if you get down to your eighth ball, you're out of the tournament anyway. Now McCune with a golden opportunity to open up a huge lead. And he took advantage of it. Boy, he looks like a real champion. Well, as you said earlier, his daddy's a real champion. Mm -hmm. uh, Don McCune won in one year seven PBA titles, was the player of the year in 1973. And Eugene made a, uh, not a unique change, but a change that he likes and some of the other players like on today's light pins, powerful balls. He's dropped to a 15-pound bowling ball, and he feels like he gets more control, less trouble with his hand, and better carry on the solid hits. Right now, he can open up a 51-pin lead. <laughs> left to two. Satisfied with that. Well, this, the situation for Eugene, as you see him break up the 2-8, and he's quickly up with another ball to shoot this spare, he wastes no time, is that he needs to mark out for 228. That would shut out Duke. Mm. Tonight on ABC, no summer reruns here. Nope. It's an all-new night of great new episodes, starting with Boston Clark, then leaving L.A., and then... Edward James.